Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today I want to go over what you need in an asset pack because it was asked so many times. People be like, hey bro, uh, I see you making all these videos about asset packs and using people's asset packs. Whose is the best? Why is it the best? If I were to make an asset pack, what do I need in it? Like there's just a lot of questions around it. So I got y'all covered today. Now at this exact moment in time, I myself do not have a great asset pack. I have uh, one that I built quite a while ago and when I look back at it uh it looks horrible it genuinely looks horrible and it wasn't very vast I guess I could say it, it would be very one-dimensional couldn't really use it over and over again because it just wasn't made for that it was made for one game and that's it so to get into what I think everybody should have in their asset pack no I do not think you need all of this in an asset pack okay if you missed this video go check out yesterday's upload but what I do think you need we'll just break it into some sections placeable assets, terrain, and foliage. All right. Now, the most thing you're going to use in any asset pack is going to be foliage. It just helps fill any map. It can be literally anything. But here's some ideas. You need trees. When going into trees, having a couple of each would be great. I'd say three different types of trees and then two types of each tree. For example, you could do a pine tree and then have a curved pine tree, a birch tree, and then a birch tree with more leaves or more curves. And then same with a palm tree, one that could be going straight up and then one that could have a curve. So for foliage, trees is every map. Plants, you know, there's stuff like flowers, mushrooms, grass. You're going to need all that stuff. Mushrooms are used the most. I feel like I see mushrooms used more than grass itself, which is kind of wild to me. It's kind of wild. In fact, I used mushrooms quite a bit on this build. It's just a great way to add color to maps. Like this was a swamp and there's not really that many ways to add colors in a swamp, but mushrooms, I mean, you can make them pretty much any color and they're going to look all right. So definitely mushrooms. You could make flowers. I personally haven't made any flowers, but I, I'm down to make some definitely down to make some flowers and then of course grass which i mean it's very simple to make i have one tutorial on grass not the greatest but it's for like straight up grass this this grass right here is better than the one i made in the tutorial but it's all good up next guys terrain yes you heard me right now i'm kind of talking about this but also not so let's just grab one of these real quick we'll do cv to get that out of the group put it right over here and this would be a border terrain now when i say terrain as the group i'm saying borders i'm saying mountains and also hills kind of like dirt or grass hills now there are some of these in the toolbox as well as probably in this pack let me see if i can find one to kind of show you guys what i'm talking about so like here's mountains this would be like a pretty good example of a hill it's like just very very slight you could do this as big or as small as you want but it's gonna help your maps look not as flat so if we look at for example all all of these maps all right and of course these are only 50 by 50 very very small but they're very flat all right and if we go into this little forest jungle thing there's no terrain which makes it look very very flat and of course it's because it's very small but you get the point if you were to add that grass or a grass hill maybe some dirt hills it does help a lot also terrain pieces so like this uh they had this was made by someone else's asset pack by the way and they had all these but they were using them like this so instead of doing that you can take these make them bigger smaller rotate them and use them as terrain pieces now this map does not look that flat at all up next guys and lastly what you're going to need in your asset pack and this isn't including like themed asset packs of course if you're going to make like a candy land game you're going to need candy assets i do have a series that kind of explains what assets you'll need based on each map type and if you guys have any other map types you would like to see in that series let me know i've got a few more right here that i need to go ahead and record but placeables guys placeable assets these are things you're going to be able to use over and over every map and just place them in a different way stuff like fountains or wells pretty self-explanatory Explanatory. We have coins and gems. Once again, pretty self-explanatory. Light poles uh, in simulator games. You know, they got those little paths and then there's the little light on the side of it. I did that in Vortex Simulator and then there's just a bunch of other, of course, that have way more light poles than mine does. I think even BGS has it. Let me see if I can find one in this huge pack. So when I'm saying light pole, I'm not exactly talking about this. <laughs> I'm talking about like, here, let me just hop up into Blender real quick. All right, so I'm going to do this very, very fast, not as a tutorial, but just to kind of show you guys what's up and what I'm talking about with a light pole. So we're going to extrude S, boom, get that. Now we can have this guy out a little bit. Nice. Bring it back in. Nice. And do it one more time and make a kind of... All right, we'll go ahead and add a loop cut. We'll drag this one down, drag this one up, grab this face just so we can get the extruding over here. There we go. And you can add cut 
that's what is this i don't know what this circle guy is i accidentally clicked the button ah, i clicked w there we go just a light pull like this guys and then of course you can add as much like you know curves whatever you want to it to make it unique but stuff like that with a little lantern hanging off something like that guys for your light pulls all right you're definitely gonna want those it does help fill in maps and lastly guys fences just little fences like um not extremely like not the fence you see in your backyard okay not the chain link fences unless that's the style you're going for i'm talking more along the lines of these and this one's going to be thrown together very very poorly just to show you guys what i'm talking about but just a fence like this guys grab one of those grab another one and then i'll add just a little bit of a curve something like that just fences like this guys very very simple but once again they do help fill in maps you can place them all over the place you could have them falling over for desert builds anything like that but to sum it all up and run through everything one last time what i think you need in a natural asset pack is foliage we got trees plants flowers mushrooms grass terrain with borders mountains hills like dirt and grass Placeable assets, fences, light poles, coins and gems, fountains, and wells. And keep in mind when making these assets, it's very smart to make two or three different variations of each thing because then your builds won't really get too stale. Now, with all that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.